What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we're going to be unboxing yet another Bissell vacuum cleaner. This one is very similar to the recent Bissell PowerForce Helix Turbo Rewind that I unboxed, only this is the slightly upgraded pet variant. This one in particular is model number 2692, so if you want to find this on walmart.com, that's the model that you would look up. Whenever you go to Walmart's website and you click on the Helix Turbo Rewind, there is an option where you can change the colors, and when you switch it from green to blue, this is the machine that you receive. And that's exactly where I ordered it. Whenever that listing popped up, I ordered both versions, and I obviously unboxed the green one in an earlier video, and now I'm unboxing the blue variant. Now this originally was going to go to my boyfriend for his uh, new vacuum needs, but I bought him the Bissell Powerlifter Swivel Pet instead. But I still wanted to check this one out since some of you may be interested in it, and no one that I'm aware of on YouTube has done an unboxing of this particular model yet. Even though this is basically just the standard Turbo Rewind with a different color scheme and a couple different features. So, as far as the features on the box, we can see everything is mostly identical to the standard Rewind variant. It has a two-year warranty, it has the same 25-foot retractable cord, and it has a bunch of other little features. Uh, this one in particular has a Febreze filter that's included as well, but that is identical to the standard Rewind as well. And ignore that hiccup. So, we're going to open this up now. Um, again, this is model number 2692. The model number of the non-pet variant of this is model 1797. So if you're looking for those on Whistle's website, that's the difference that you would look. This one also was $10 more expensive. These initially were the same price, $80 whenever I went to purchase this. Previously, whenever I purchased the standard turbo, and I should have ordered this one when I ordered the standard turbo because at the time these were both $80. When I went to order this one, it went up to $90. So that's my fault. But for 10 bucks more, you do get a decent amount. And then for an extra 10 bucks, you could upgrade to the Power Lifter Swivel Pet, which you also saw earlier. So starting off, we have the user's manual here, both in English and in Espanol, which is the correct way to pronounce it. We have the Bissell registration card that's came with every other Bissell that I've unboxed recently. This actually includes the same pet hair corner tool that the Bissell Power Groom included. And if you saw my Bissell Power Groom video, you would know that it actually uh, got lost by me, so I have another one now, which is nice. It has the same dusting brush that many of the Power Force series have. This one is white, whereas the, uh, it does, even though it's blue and green, it didn't come with either the blue or the green dusting brush. It just came with the white one for some reason. An interesting thing to mention is that the Power Lift or Swivel Pet, which I got uh, for 10 bucks more than this, actually did not include a dusting brush for some reason, but it did include the, uh, pet hair eraser tool, which is basically just like a lint brush tool. And that is similar to the bagged power lifter pet, which I bought, which did cost more, but doesn't swivel and has both of those attachments. So then we also have the lower, uh, not cord wrap, this is just the bracket for the extension wand and crevice tool, which is a little bit dusty from cardboard dust. We have the turbo brush, which on the box says it's the turbo eraser pet. This just advertises turbo brush, but this is identical to the one on the power lifter, both the bag and the swivel variant, because it has the rubber silicone tips on the brushes instead of actual hair brushes, meaning that it's supposed to be designed to not tangle as easily as the standard turbo brushes. In my experience, these brushes are about the same as the standard, uh, the standard brush. Those ones don't tend to tangle very much. So, because I did test that in the power lifter bag pet demo, there's some more cardboard. And we can see inside this box we've got some wacky stuff. Here we have the handle, which is precisely what you would expect. It's a handle. We've got the extra Febreze filter, which for some reason this one has a yellow side and a black side, whereas the one that came with the Power Lifter Swivel Pet was all black. I don't know if this is maybe an update that they did to the packaging, uh, but either way, I'm assuming that the yellow side is the side with the Febreze, so I'm assuming you'd want that facing up, since that would then go into the motor and then have the Febreze sent on the exhaust. Next we have the hose. This box is very warm, it's sitting in my car. Oops, something fell. That was the crevice tool. We have the stretch hose, which is identical to all the other Bissell vacuums, all the Power Lifter series, the Power Forces, except for the standard Helix. We have the extension wand, and we have the crevice tool. One thing that you do get when you buy the power lifter, if you saw in that unboxing video, for 10 bucks more, you do get a longer crevice tool. So this one's a bit of a shorter crevice tool. So not as much reach with this. And then here we have the vacuum itself. So that's all else that's in the box. 
So again, the process of assembly is identical as every other Bissell vacuum that contains the power force name. It's very warm, probably because again, it was sitting in my car. I really like this turquoisey blue color. So that is one, honestly, that alone is an incentive for me personally to get this over the standard rewind and the Helix Turbo because I do like the blue color. Also, the plug is shaped differently than the standard Turbo Rewind. Why? I don't know. It just appears to be the case. This particular model was manufactured on the 136th day of 2020. It's the same ADAPT motor as all the other new vehicles. So for assembly, since this is also an assembly tutorial, just like a lot of the other Bissells, we have a piece of tape on the handle that secures the screws in place. Can we turn that off so my video doesn't get copyrighted? I forgot to say that earlier. So as you can see, there's a little jump cut there. This is the bag of screws that is taped to the handle. You just have two Phillips head screws. So the first thing you do for assembly is you take the handle like this with the curve facing towards the back of the machine and the turbo brush bracket facing towards the front and the handle and other pieces facing towards the back. And you slide this on the top of the handle like this. Then you open up the bag with the two screws in it, just like that. And there are two screws here that go on either side of the handle, just like this. So one goes on this side here and then one side goes on the other side. One side goes on the other side. Yeah, that made sense. Sure, let's go with it. So that, so that goes right there. And then now we just need to take a standard Phillips head screwdriver and drive this in. So this one is this one flips both ways. So then we just put this screw in just like this. Pretty self-explanatory. Just like a lot of the other bristles, because you are torquing it against the side of the machine, you have to make sure that you are moving the screwdriver as straight as possible so you don't strip the screws or drive them in incorrectly. Also, like every other Bissell unboxing video or for any budget vacuum, I recommend to not use any sort of drill or electronic screwdriver as that may strip the plastic and or damage the screws. This is not necessarily a durable vacuum. It's not commercial or anything like that. So. You want to be careful putting it together. That said, if you treat it nicely, it'll still last for 20 years, no problem. Unless you happen to get a defective one. And again, that second screw is just driving in just fine. And you want to drive in all the way until it continues to not torque anymore. It is supposed to sit recessed inside the handle, so that way you know the handle is on correctly. Just like that. Now, since this is a rewind model, the cord is already wound up. But yeah, there is a dog in the background, so you may hear some noises, but that's okay. That's what this vacuum is designed for after all. There is a little plastic protector on the cord, so that will be there in order for you to plug it into the wall. So if you're trying to plug it in and it's not fitting, try taking this off because that's there to protect it. I like to keep that on there because I'm weird, but most people will probably throw that away. I do recommend anytime you get a new vacuum cleaner, no matter how inexpensive it is, Save the box and all the packaging materials for at least a month. That way, if you have a defect with the machine or you need to send it in for warranty service or worst case scenario, send it in for a return, you have all the packaging you need to repackage it up and send it back in as best condition that you can. So, as far as the main assembly, uh, the next thing you have to do is just take the twist and snap hose. There are two notches on either side of the hose right here, and you wanna line them up with the notches on the back of the handle on the inlet to the cyclone assembly and twist it slightly clockwise into place. Then you wanna take the hose, stretch it up onto the upper hose hook, snap it into place, and then stretch the hose down into the suction inlet on the base of the power foot. Then you wanna take the lower, uh, not cord winder, I keep wanting to say cord winder. This is to hold the extension wand and crevice tool. There are two notches here. You wanna insert it with the notch facing to the left, and you wanna put that in until it is completely flush. Never mind, this one goes in the other way for some reason. Yes, yeah, so this one, for some reason, the normal rewind starts from the left. This one starts from the right. So you put it in facing the right, and you put it in flush, and then you turn it counterclockwise to snap it into place, so that way this notch is facing upwards. Then you take the crevice tool, and you slide it inside the extension wand like this, and press it down into it. Then you put it on this post back here, and snap it into place. Then you want to take the dusting brush tool and slide it into this post up here. Strangely enough, there is some marketing material that actually shows this holding this pet hair corner tool on board. But at least on my particular unit, there is no way to store this pet corner tool on board. The actual tool storage is identical to the non-pet variant, which doesn't include this tool. 
So yeah, I guess in theory, if you wanted this tool more, you could fit it up here, but it's obviously designed for this to go into your closet and the turbo brush to go on this bracket up here. So that's pretty much how that would go. Um, so if you do actually prefer this pet hair corner tool, pet hair corner tool, you could put this on board if you so desire, but officially the turbo brush tool goes here and this tool stores separately. So after that, there really is not much else to do as far as assembly. Again, separately you'll, separately you'll have this pet hair corner tool, the extra Febreze filter, and again, it is an extra. There is one inside the dirt container, as you can see right here. This lifts up and you can see there is a standard foam filter inside here. This is the same that you get with all the other Power Force bagless models that you see nowadays, all the Helix models. And otherwise, the Cyclone setup is identical to the Helix Turbo Rewind or the standard Helix Turbo, but with this transparent bit up here as well. Of course, of course the full line is down here and you empty it like this, just like every other machine. And it can easily snap apart and pull apart so that way you can easily clean it out. One thing I really like about this machine is that you can completely disassemble the Cyclone assembly with no tools whatsoever. So now that we put this back together, we can see that we can lock it back into place. We have five height adjustments over here, which this knob is relatively smooth. And we have the post motor filter down here. So make sure to make it to where those filters are washed thoroughly. Now, this actual latch appears to be a little bit better quality than on my standard rewind, but I will discuss that more in depth in my full review of both of these machines. So anyways, that is how you unbox and assemble your new Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo Rewind PET, model number 2692. Now, since I am about to vacuum this rug, we'll go ahead and end this video by me vacuuming this rug a little bit, and we'll see how that goes. So again, keep all this extra stuff, since, and uh, don't drop it. And all of that will be good, and I'll just put all this stuff back in the box. And we'll give this thing a little spin. And hopefully this won't freak out the dog, but we will see. So we're going to go ahead and try this out real quick, since a lot of people want me to run these vacuums after I unbox them. Of course, it's the same ADAP motor as all the other Power Force Helix series that I mentioned, and reviewed in the past. So it's going to sound exactly how you would expect. At least that's what I'm expecting. So maybe it will sound a bit different, but I doubt it. So of course we have a 25 foot cord that is retractable and we're going to pull out the cord. And there is a yellow marker right here. Once you get to this yellow marker, the red marker is where you should not pull the cord out any longer because otherwise you may damage the mechanism. So it's best recommended that you retract it. Ooh, that's really good. You retract it until you see the yellow marker, and that means that you shouldn't pull the cord out anymore because you don't want to damage the cable or the cord rewind mechanism. Because as far as I know, Bissell does not offer parts for that rewind mechanism, and neither do a lot of other companies. So you definitely do not want to break that. If you are worried about the rewind mechanism, then spend the extra 10 bucks on the power with the swivel pet, or give the standard power for Helix Turbo for a little bit cheaper. So we're going to plug this in. And we're gonna try it out. Get this brand new vacuum all dirty. Although I did vacuum this carpet yesterday with the Elite Rewind, so it shouldn't be all that much different. And uh, this will be a bit of a lower current, but I'll start it off on the medium side because that's how it is out of the box. <laughs> sucked up something that got stuck in my brush. As expected, it sounds like every other Bissell that you are familiar with, and it seems to clean very nice. Another thing I like about the Bissell compared to the Elite Rewind is that it's extremely lightweight and easy to maneuver, so if you have a bad back like I do, or if you just don't like heavy vacuums, these are pretty solid options for the price. Anyways, this is Intellitech Studios signing out, so I'm going to go ahead and finish vacuuming this carpet, and I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and assembly tutorial, and I'll see you guys in the review of this soon, and other videos soon to come. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.